Many of you will know the the Beast lens, uh, or my favourite, the killer, I've called it, the Nikon 70 to 200 mm f2.8 version 1. I still like the version 1 more than the version 2, not because of, of its optical quality or anything like that, but because of the kind of extra ribbingness that's going on there, extra kind of, I think it just looks like a nice lens. Anyway, I love it, uh, it's great for my sports, it's great for portraits as well. Um, and it, it just, it's, I always just think it looks cool, feels cool, is sexy. Um, but is there any way which I can make this cooler or sexy? Uh, what, which is my question to myself. Um, and, oh, well, obviously, I've got to put that, the, what do you call it? The tripod collar mount back on, so yeah. So that's it for the 700, uh, the Nikon D700. Well, some of you may remember I did a video a wee while ago where I kind of went against the grain, uh, saying that actually, I put, I'll, I'll put the link down below, it was where somebody had painted their camera uh, and it was like this crazy yellow kind of colour stuff. And I was like, I think that's kind of cool. Um, and uh, some people were like, no, I think it looks horrible, why would you paint your camera? You're all about the photographer, about your images, not about the camera. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you want to hold something that looks a little bit different from what everyone else has got. And Nikon really is just very, very black. So, somebody did mention to me something pretty cool, which I've never thought about before. I said, imagine if you could just put it on and take it off as you wanted. I'm like, oh, that would be cool. And there is a company that does that. It's called Lens Coat. Uh, and I asked them to send me stuff for the Nikon D700 and the, uh, the lens and here's the lens stuff here and you just kind of look at it and go, what's this? So here's a video of me showing you how to put it on and how it looks but at the moment, before I do anything, this is how it looks. Now we'll go over to here and watch me actually put it on. Okay, so there's multiple parts. Uh, and they're all made out of neoprene, which is nice and flexible, like that. So the first one, I'll put on the this. And you see, I've gone for the winter look. Um, I, that's what I say, because I do quite a lot of skiing and snowboarding and photos like that. As you see, nope, none of those photos. Um, but uh, I thought the kind of winter camouflage would be quite cool. So, it's just a simple case of pulling on. Putting it on the right way is probably more important. Then the lens. The lens uh, has got several sections, some with see-through bits, as you can see there. And those see-through bits are for the uh, focus distance meter and also for all the little bits that you get at the side here. So, first one we put on is uh, the distance marker and that bit goes to the front. So we just place that on. And then here we've got to get this one on, so I need to take off the lens collar, tripod collar. So the idea is that you can still see your if you've got your VR on and active and if it's all all that kind of stuff. And you are able to I'll just show you. So VR on to VR off. Done. That bit has got a kind of sticky tape onto it. So what we need to do is find out where that goes. And let's see if we're happy with that. I say yes. Boom! So, there you have it. That's uh, how you put on, and it's all infinitely adjustable kind of stuff. And there's no covers over the focusing and the zooming sections there, but I don't think you want to because you want to see where that is, and you probably, I don't know, you could probably have something over that as well, I'd imagine. But uh, for me, I think this certainly is going to make me stand out from the crowd a little bit, I think. But also, I think whenever I'm up in the Highlands and I'm taking, like, for example, I'll show you the place. Up in Scotland, there's a place in the Highlands where in the winter, it looks like that. So colour scheme-wise, that actually goes well with it. The black, the whites, and the kind of browny bits of uh, the trees and stones and all that kind of stuff. So this is kind of cool camouflage. Am I using this to be camouflaged? Of course not, no. I don't want to be camouflaged. But I think it's kind of, I think it's pretty cool. 
The other thing, which I didn't realise about it, is that A is going to stop you getting any bumps and scratches on both your, your lens and your lens hood, which is an added, added bonus, but also one which probably won't affect many people. I suffer from a thing called Raynaud's, or Raynaud's syndrome, or Raynaud's phenomenon, uh, which is where uh, my fingers, or my extremities, whenever they touch something which is cold, uh, they go white, like totally white, the blood just instantly leaves the tips of my fingers and I've got like these really weird like red wrists and hands but then my fingers are just like dead white, uh, like they're dead fingers. And this will mean that touching the metal bits of my lens or holding my lens like this, I'm not going to be touching cold, cold metal. And my camera body itself is all kind of pretty plastic. So that's, that's not much of a problem, but certainly with a big lens like this, or even a bigger lens at 300 or anything like that, having this will be handy if walking around and holding it like that, so I won't be touching some freezing cold stuff. They also, lens coats do this for stuff like tripod legs, um, and they also do it in a whole bunch of different uh, colour schemes and camouflages and all that kind of stuff. So check them out uh, down below. They've also sent me an email, and they're saying that they can give, um, there is four, uh, discount codes which they are either going to give to me or I will sort it out so that uh, you can leave a comment on the Lens Code Facebook page and then you can figure out who the winners are from there. So yeah, I would say go check it out, uh, see what you think of their Facebook page and on lenscoat.com. I'll put the links down below but uh, for me, I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to try it out today.